Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, she is all dolled up. <laughs> I am, I'm all dolled up today. It is the weekend, but I wanted to pop in because I got another email and it had a similar flow to it. It's a question, it's kind of sort of a statement and a question in the same time at the same time that I get very 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 often I'm all dolled up today because I am shooting a video with Brian um, we are going to go out it is my first time working with a company um, I am working on some blog posts about finding your style after kids <laughs> and I hate to say it like that because I'm not a fashion blogger by far at all but I am a real mom and I do have real mom issues and one thing I wanted to do this year was to work on just feeling better about my appearance does that make sense <laughs> My appearance is not the first thing on my list. However, I do think that is in, that it is important and it's about time that I try and find myself. You know, after the years of the spit up and all the messes and such, all the diaper changes, things like that. Now that my kids are getting older, I just want to go off on this journey of figuring out my style now and just feeling a little prettier you know what I mean anyway <laughs> that was kind of off tangent kind of not really but kind of sort of I get this question quite often like I said it's kind of like a question slash statement about um, having so much joy or being so happy in homeschool and um, I have responded every time I get an email, of course, but I thought that because I get it so frequently, why not just talk about it in a video? So, ta-da! <laughs> so today I'm gonna to talk about joy in homeschool. I get that statement quite often. You look like you're having so much fun. Um, you look like you have so much joy in homeschool. You look like you're so happy in homeschool. And number one, I just want to start by saying that almost 100% of the time that statement starts off with, you look like, it seems like. And I think we have to, first of all, acknowledge that this is what it looks like and this is what it seems like. But these are curated things that I am putting out the interwebs on Instagram on YouTube whatever um, even if it's a low day or a really awesome day it is still what I've chosen to show you there's lots of stuff that goes on when this camera is not on um, that is not so pretty you know what I mean but that's life and I just wanted to address the whole joy in homeschool type of thing the first things first well, I think I already said what the first thing was. I just want to say that yes, I do have a lot of joy in homeschool. And that is because I do believe that joy is a choice. It is something that I decided in the beginning that I was going to have joy about the decision that we made to homeschool. And the joy is not dependent upon how I feel. If I'm feeling inadequate, like I'm not enough, um, if I'm frustrated because the kids are doing too much or I can't get a moment to myself, um, if I'm frustrated because I feel alone and there's not a lot of community at the time, whatever it may be, um, I chose joy a long time ago and I'm sticking to that. If I feel like the worst thing ever, I still have joy in my homeschool, and that is settled. Now, what I do think that I am, you guys are often talking about is that it seems like I'm happy. Here's the thing about happy. <laughs> First, let me say that I am not always happy. I'm actually probably more 
unhappy on a lot of days than I am happy. And I know that doesn't sound good to say, but it's the truth. I wake up a lot of days, don't feel like I'm enough. I feel like I didn't, you know, plan out our days well enough. Um, no matter, it, I don't know about you guys, but it seems like even if I plan things to the T and I got everything accomplished, I still somehow have a feeling that I didn't do enough or it wasn't going to be good enough. And I deal with that thought every single day. <laughs> so I want to talk about being happy. Um, I, I told you guys about the book that I read. The book that I suggested in a few videos back called Desperate. It's a hope for the mom who needs to breathe. I think that's what it's called for sure. Um, but in that book, I believe it was that book, it said somewhere in the pages that I am responsible for my own happiness. And that was something I mulled over for a very long time and continue to every day to remind myself that I am responsible for my own happiness. So when I wake up in the morning and I have unhappy feelings, I know that I am in control of that. I'm learning that I can't let my circumstances dictate whether or not I am going to be happy today. So I feel like for me, joy was a one-time decision and happiness is an every minute decision. <laughs> every minute every minute because I could have like the best homeschool morning ever and in the afternoon still feel like the unhappiest person ever and in the last couple of years I have learned that emotions you can't count on them <laughs> they're a wonderful thing feeling happy or sad or excited uh, all of the emotions have their place but it's our job to steward our emotions well and to decide when we are not going to let certain emotions take up too much space. Does that make sense? So with that being said, these are not really tips, but I'm just going to kind of tell you like some of the things that I do to make myself happier in homeschool. The first thing I do is use my gift. For me, my gift is photography and video. So the more photos I'm taking, whether I share them or not, the more videos I'm taking, whether I share them or not, they are a blessing to me and they make me happy. So even when I, my, my homeschool plans were ruined for the day and we did one quick art project that was just like, let's color. If I take a picture of it, if I get down on the floor with them, color with them, take a picture, a selfie, something, it always makes me happy. Now I don't know how long that happiness is gonna last. <laughs> but it definitely makes me happy. So I'm learning to incorporate my camera more and more into our homeschool days because it makes my days happier. The next thing that I do um, that really helps me to be happy is to create in other ways. Um, I like to paint. I like to Bible journal. And I think that when I first started homeschooling, um, I put them first and it was them and only them if it was anything else it wasn't worth it you know all of my money all of my energies needed to be going to figuring out curriculum or finding some place for them to go or things of that nature then you get consumed with the whole money issue and bills and how am I gonna have enough to save for them or whatever. It was just taking up too much space and it was too much of that stuff and not enough of what do you like, Serena. So I started to do more of trying to figure out what do I enjoy doing. I learned that I loved Bible journaling, Bible journaling so I spent some money to find some basic supplies so that I could Bible journal. Um, I found that I loved uh, taking sessions. I don't have a full-time photography business anymore, but I do love taking sessions from time to time. They energize me. So I tried to find a way to incorporate them like once a month or something like that. Designing. So we started the Fall Co, which was put on my heart, and that's been a huge blessing to me. I'm just trying to constantly keep my hands busy to things that I like. Um, and I sometimes 
I've wasted money. Um, I thought I wanted to sew. I learned very quickly that it requires a little bit more effort than I was willing to give at the time. About figuring out what you like at this point in your life with your kids. Um, Bible journaling ended up being something that was a major blessing to me, but it could have been that I got all these supplies and I didn't even really use them. I just read my regular Bible, and if so, that's okay. But I felt like it was worth it for me to give myself a try and give myself some room to try things and figure out what I like. And as I find out what I like, I incorporate them more and more into my day. When I have a day that's really, really bad and I feel really, really unhappy, what I've noticed is there weren't enough things that I had incorporated into that day that made me happy. Whether it be journaling or um, painting or designing or um, taking pictures and that led to an overall unhappy feeling in that day and now I'm on this journey to take better care of myself and I have found that that does make me happy so getting dressed up more for the day um, putting on makeup even though it just seemed like such a, such a hassle and a waste of time it did make me feel better it made me feel happier in the day um, I used to think to myself I'm wasting my money I'm not really going anywhere so why would I waste my my makeup waste my money putting on makeup when I'm not really going anywhere but I've learned that when I get up and I put on some makeup even if it's very minimal like it makes me feel happier that day and I'm responsible for that so if that means getting up five minutes earlier and making sure I have on my makeup for the day then <laughs> you know and then recently I'm not trying to be like I said a fashion blogger or anything but we all wear clothes don't we so I'm trying this whole find my style i um, doing a little bit more blogging type of thing so I recently connected with the company to make a video um, I'm gonna do a lookbook which is so not me but I'm excited to try it. I'm not trying to be anyone else. I'm not trying to be a fashion blogger or a, you know, a beauty, beauty YouTuber or anything like that. I'm just trying different things to see which, what things I enjoy doing. So yeah, I don't want this to be too long. I just wanted to address that. I basically find my foundation and my confidence in the word or I try to stay in my word every day so that I don't get to the place where I feel desperately inadequate but um, the word keeps me is my foundation and it is my confidence so when I feel like I'm not enough I know that I am everything that I need to be for my children and their homeschool journey and that is my joy period but happiness, on the other hand, is an every minute thing, and I'm responsible for filling my day with things that make us happier. Joy, always. Happiness, minute by minute, and my responsibility. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I explained myself well. If you're struggling with that, just know that I am too. But I'm trying to discipline myself to practice certain behaviors that give me victory in every day in homeschool and help me to enjoy this journey more and more. I hope you guys are enjoying these chit chatty videos. I kind of like doing them. <laughs> I just always feel really bad because I'm actually not a talkative person in real life. I'm a very not talkative person in real life. Unless you really know me and I really have something to say. But other than that, yeah, I don't talk that much. So it seems really strange to speak this way on the camera. Because if you saw me in person, you'd be like, are you going to talk to me? <laughs> anyway, let me go. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure that you're subscribed, that you thumbs up this video if you liked it. So I know that you like videos like these. And I will see you in our next